So today we are looking at this build of Jund. Um, I've been having more success with it recently. A place once upon a time, kind of in where Punishing Fire was. And um, it plays one less land. Um, still running two of these. I'm not sure if that's better or worse, but I, I like running two. Um, and I've been liking two opposition agents, um, here. Um, Voidwalker in the board or in the main deck is another option. And in some ways I like that as well. Um, Voidwalker is a little bit more taxing on your mana. Uh, in one version of this, I dropped Thoughtseize main deck and ran, um, the Void Walkers instead and put the uh, Thought Seasons in the board. And um, I think it kind of goes back to one of those things that I was saying about Mana Curve of like having 16 potential turn one plays and once upon a time promoting that in addition to Thought Seas promoting that. So if you ditched Thought Seas, then you're less likely to have those turn one plays. Um, and even though your curve is still pretty low, I, I really do value that. Um, I kind of did like a gatherer search on cards that I could replace or I could use instead of Noble Hierarch or with Ho Noble Hierarch. And one, the, the darn website was not working on my phone for some reason. It kept crashing. I kept seeing the uh, Day of Judgment thing, like an error. But um, in my mind, the options are like Delighted Halfling, which doesn't fit very well unless you're running like multiple of these and like maybe some other legends. Um, Hex Drinker, which I think in another world where this card is banned... X Drinker is like pretty good, but then this card's banned, and you're like your Jund deck gets worse, you know. So, um, but X Drinker, um, and I I think those were like the two big ones. I thought about the Stalactite card, just kind of being aggro with that, and I didn't love it. Um, and you know there there always could be something that I'm missing, but that's kind of where my head was. So I like this curve. I like the fact that this speeds you up in this deck. I like that if this card kind of stinks later, you could discard it. It's not as good as discarding Pun Fire, obviously, for the value. But discarding Once Upon a Time, um, or like Thought Seize, you know, is like not bad. Um, the sideboard, I am going to take an L to Merit Liege. And I think I'm okay with that. Uh, it probably is overkill in my sideboard for the artifact decks, um, where I would bring in these and I would bring in these and I'd bring in these two and I'd bring an oof. Um, but I think that's the better meta call than trying to beat lands. Um, storm is challenging. Rebs are very good. Void Walker, if you can get it out, is very good. Um, I think when I see Void Walker, I'm going to think, would I just be happier if this were Leyline of the Void? Um, you know, they are kind of similar in a way. This is better if it's not in your opener. Obviously, you can draw it later. Uh, it also is a nice clock. Um, so we shall see. Um, all right, let's uh, let's play some video games here. Got John once. Uh, oops, I don't want to use tickets. I want to use points. Go. And we will play some music. He likes me for me. <laughs> kind of forgot about this song. I um sometimes add songs to my playlist 
almost to troll myself. Like, I'll, like, add something that, like, I think kind of sucks, and I'll be like, take that, Mark. You deserve it. Yo, Ben. I was pretty close to going with um Dak today, but I, I kept getting stuck on how to actually build the deck. Is last seen on reanimate. I think I go for this. It said reanimate. Hey, Finn. They spell pierce it. Okay. How you doing? Brainstorm. Okay. So I think chances here are play noble waste. This is how my turn's going to go. Um. Damn, dude. Been there. This is actually kind of tough, right? One option is you just get the basic. They run less lands than me, so fuck them. No. Thought Seas would be good. Viewer? All right. All right, smart guy. All right, smart guy. Viewer. Somebody... Somebody went to college or something. I did go to college, though. Now we're going to listen to 3-6 Mafia and get... Well, yeah, we'll skip that shit, I guess. Yo... All right, Merc Tide. Well, this is uh, not good. It'd be funny if they force willed it. Oh, he didn't graduate, okay. Prismatic ending. Reason borrower. Yeah. Um, all right. If I draw a land, I could lose this game in a few turns. I do not. We actually have no outs.
<laughs> I gotta stay fly. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that that song is uh, kind of ignorant. All right, we'll hit this. The Furies seem pretty good. Always mixed about Outland Liberator, like you never know if they're gonna run something. If what you have is countable, say fewer. If you can't count number of lands, you can't count an amount of water. I guess you could say like fluid ounces or something though. But it's like not as, you know, I think I understand. Uh, I think this works. I'm gonna leave the Liberator. I don't. I think Fury's a liability. Try that. Well, keep that. So this I think we're going to get the the Badland card. The uh the uh Surveillant Well, I got you, Ben. I do want to draw that. I think we just play the Voidwalker here. I think they have something. Like they're going to plow it or something cringe. Days it. Definitely, Days is like top five most hated cards for me. We'll get the the taiga thing here.
Ooh, we don't have Taiga Thing. Shit. I changed it to that and forgot. Ooh. At. I think I'm still going to do it. And we'll draw the tiger. So they have four in the yard. I think I'm forced into an endurance. Well, now I am not. Got to go for this. I think it's too good not to. Now, if they have a Murktide, that's rough, but I, I think we might even be able to race it. This is going to be a 5-5, five, five, and then we're going to have this thing out. Let's me play around days, too. It feels good. Always love that one scream from the guy in the crowd on this version. Super hyped to hear Black Hole Sun. I get it, though. It's a banger. Realizing that attacking Inua is not smart. A force pitch Merc Tide. Okay. I think that was a little sus. Prismatic ending. Gonna be hard to beat that. How do I win? I don't think I play in the days here. Okay. Get a blocker. Not the droid I was looking for. Maybe I have to accept the two for one here. Keeping the land in hand in the event that I draw a fury.
Right, so they don't have... Guess we just do it, huh? I'm gonna play the land here. It it look it feels like shit, but I think it's the right call. <sighs> just like the idea of like a spell pierce and then a daze or something. Oh, they have bow masters. Okay. The cards that get me out of this are like, uh, wrist would be good. Another endurance would be okay. Another bow masters would be okay. Void Walker would be all right. The fact that they're missing their land drops here is like kind of tough. I think I should hit it. That's a good one. I am. Yeah. That's a big one. I think the later the, the the game goes, the better it is for them, you know? The next turn... Alright, wow. That was close. Holy fuck. Alright, uh... Could try to like cheese them with this. I think the the Outland Liberator is not worth running. One of the only ways I have to kill the uh, maybe Bolt isn't that good. Maybe this isn't a scam deck, and I could try the Furies. It's a five mana card, though. Maybe I take the bolts out in favor of Thoughtseize. That's tough. Um. This this should go. Bolt, I'm kind of soft on here. Agent could get them. Oh man, this is hard. Like Thoughtseize on the draw? It's 
like a daze deck too. This is really hard. We'll run one opposition agent. It's, it's such a weird hybrid. I, I really do struggle against these decks, like mentally, like what to do. Like, if, if I hit a Mana Dork here, do I even do it, you know? Do I, like, Thought Seize first? A good one. All right, let's see what happens. I'm like thinking, do I want to thin my deck? But in a way, like leaving the lands on the bottom is thinning in itself. I guess the days. They want to force the Void Walker. Gotta get the bad land here. They draw a Bowmaster. Okay. And then they force a will. Okay. Okay. What did they pitch? Uh, yeah. Okay. I know their hand. I want to draw pretty much anything that's not red. Ooh. All right. A little bit of an ouchin. Do this. Um, do I want another Pyroblast? I think so. Maybe not. It stops. Nah, I don't think so. I think I want threats. I'm going to waste on their turn. Okay. I thought that's what they were going to do.
Definitely still a tug of war here. They have a plow. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, that. And they put a sewer in hand. Okay. A bowmaster would be good. That's probably my worst possible. Definitely a big tug of war here. I wasted them off white because they kept it, and the one thing that really kills me is like the miracle card. So, yeah. They said I turned their miracle off. Okay, well, that's pretty bad. All right. So we just have to sit. I might even block with the arbor here. I don't even know. Maybe I wait. Guess so. I'll go to four. I don't... A three, rather. Uh, let's do this. Are tied. Yeah, we say no, and then hit, destroy target, blue permanent, that one. Boy, that's scary. Man, I <laughs> going a lot of those.
I don't have a card like uh, Fireball or something, so... Wow. 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 Maybe the Fury was the right card. I did not feel in control there. I, I also, like, I my player mindset is to just play, like, extremely safe. And sometimes playing defensive is not playing safe because you need to kill them. That, that deck seems, like, kind of like Delver. But like better comeback potential. That was uh that was pretty scary. Yes, there it is. There it is. You said it. Therefore, Jund with once upon a time is the best deck in the format. It's science. I do think I'm putting cards in that are good in the meta. Whatever the hell that means. Um, I think it is smarter to play the Bayou. Because we're running in... Oh no, Dothy Voidwalker's on the board. So none of that matters. When Dothy Voidwalker is in the main deck, or is in your deck, in your post sideboard, you do have to think about that. Um... Also, I think I'm going to play the cheese game with the opposition agent. Tell me you have Bowmaster without telling me you have Bowmaster. I wonder if the Bayou was the better play, but I don't know. Yeah. You play them because of wishful thinking. The idea is you're always going to have the card that you want. You're always going to fetch them. When they're in your hand, it sucks. I hope I end their career. Yeah, just don't draw them. Yeah, yeah. Freak. You've been you haven't been playing quite as often these days. So yeah. What you wanna do is um 
not not draw them. And then they're they're much better when they're in your deck. You know. Hey onion. How's it going? Yo, Star Castle. I thought only my old head dad knew this band and his brother. And then not even Lady of the Lake. The sixth song after Lady of the Lake. The one that you listen to and you're like, you know, just digging the album. Yeah. Well played. Alright. Um, I hate days. Because now I like, I'm pretty sure I just lose, you know? I think that's how this goes. They resolve fucking up the beanstalk. Hey. Great seeing you, Finn. Thanks for stopping by. Um, all right. Riza, hope you're doing well. Go black here. It'll do this, we'll play around days. But I'm not happy because they're just going to force it. And then draw a card. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I draw a card on the beans deck. Uh, I'm not salty, you're salty. Um, and then I will waste the... A stupid green land, I guess. I don't know. Lands, okay. Those are some evil ones. I do have, sometimes I dream about playing Magic the Gathering. And, uh, I can never, I can think about it, but I can never play, like, simulate the entire game. You know? All right, Murktide, win game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good to see you, Turtle. So I could have played Endurance, and then they would have forced it. Maybe that was the better play. It probably was. I hate days so much. Like, if they force of will the opposition agent, it's like, ha-ha. All right. They daze it, you're like, you piece of shit. I will never financially recover from this. Yeah, that's about how I feel with it. Um, alright. Let's do this to myself. Well, alright, no, there's no reason to rush it. Let's just do nothing. I think I want to endurance myself to get the grist back in the deck so I can possibly do something later. Yeah. Sometimes I do worry that I say that and it's like a be careful what you wish for kind of thing. Like they ban days and all of a sudden like, you know, Bryant, Cook, and Tony are just fucking everyone's day up, you know? But I don't think that's true. Nobody wants those nerds to be happy. Not even those nerds.
Perfect. Um, right. Yeah. But the days makes me so mad. I keep trying to resolve three and four mana spells. And then I get mad when days happens. All right. Um, I think we respond. This card. If they daze it, it's driving me up a wall. Um. Hey, cool. Thank you, uh, Onion. Good to see you. I know you've been playing lands. It's kind of funny that uh, Riz is it. <laughs> Days! It's... Mm, I'm so bad. <laughs> you can't do that. Uh... Blooded Strand and Fire Dice. Yeah. Flip my whole computer desk. That'll teach them. <laughs> <laughs> just there and it looks like I disconnected very slowly. I have no idea. Yeah, I just, uh, that card. Like, they're going to win this game anyway. Like, regardless of whether that resolves. But Daze is just such a tilt. Murktide super tilt too. Like both games have been like both games I've lost today are just like Murktide, you know. So Draw Grist or Green Sun Zenith and then lose the next turn. Excellent. Wait a minute. That's not Green Sun Zenith. I almost want to attack with both. Just to, like, die sooner. Yeah. Grist. Grist is back in the deck because I endurance myself. But they have, like, an answer for that. There's, like, almost... No doubt. I don't know what cringe answer it is, but they have one. Two dazes, yeah. All right. Those four pyroblasts are going to be pretty good. The voids. Pyros. After that, I'm not sure. I don't think I want the furies, but maybe I do. Um, Bolt has been kind of weak. Where plow would be great, Bolt has not been. Yeah. Stupid sexy Flanders. Um... I don't know about Vigor. Let's see. It's so frustrating too, like these, I was just crying about this in the last game. Days and Beans is like, and Wasteland, it's like, do I board out the Mana Dorks? They're bad top decks. Do I want Thoughtseize? They are the magical fruit. Uh, uh. All right. If I were a big stupid doo-doo head, would I take Thoughtseize out?
Do I want to go one for one with them? Sorry. <laughs> they are magical. Yeah, it's hard, cardboard. I, I do not, like, if I do that, then I can bring these in. And I'm like, yeah. That is, and then I could like take one of these out. All right. We're just gonna go get in target player's face ASAP. And we're gonna play a five mana card. I don't know. I, I think this might be a stupid game plan, but we're gonna try it. I'm going to go get in their face as soon as possible, and I'm going to sideboard in a 5-drop and take out the 1-drop. Why well, take the... Yeah. 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 Especially Meltdown. Yeah, and that, that's been my theory, but sometimes they're just assholes, you know what I mean? Am I right or am I right? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, sorry, request right. Oh, request right. Yeah. Am I right, ladies? Um, Wasteland, please. Ooh. Damn. Why did I play the cringe forest? Ugh. Yeah, that's definite cringe. Play this stupid thing. Remember what I was saying? You don't want to play the forest. Like, you know, hey, you want to think about Bayou when you run the Void Walker. And then I don't do it. Such an idiot. Urgh, I'm so stupid all the time. Play Bean. Play Bow Mask? No. That... That's what I needed. Thank you. I needed to hear that. I I believe you may have amnesia because you forgot that I am him. What? Did I make a land drop already? I think I did. They pitched an eight mana card. Um, yeah, you know what?
I think we counter this shit. I'm trying. Okay. I, I don't think... I think because I played the land, and I think I played land. I played land. Am I land? What the fuck is this 8 mana? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ugh. That was a lot of things. Okay, I can't play that card. So, yeah, that, that. Thank you for that thought request. I think they just slam Murktai to win. song sounds fun. Murktide. What the fuck? Jeez. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, you create a 4-4? Four, four? Jeez. It, you think so? I'm thinking about risking it with a fable. Alright. You think the uh, 10 mana card is uh, worth killing? Okay. Yeah, the uh the, the ten mana card. Um Yeah, I th I think the ten mana card in this uh situation might be worth killing. I'm making fun of myself, not not you. I really uh I'm gonna shrink the grave a little bit. Yeah. It it does it did look pretty scary, huh? That's the uh, That's a good one too.
I definitely think I'm in a bad spot here. Um, they put loam into the graveyard. I don't mind if they loam. I don't think you can have lands here. I just don't want them to have good cards. Okay. Damn. That's a brutal draw. Trying to think of what I can even get here. Like if this ponder is really good, I'm just dead. Thank you for that song request. A bean, huh? No, uh, not tonight. I may give that another shot, though. This is brutal. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey, uh, Ralph. Um, I think I've seen that list. Um, the Jund list, right? With the but but not with Once Upon a Time. I think you played. Uh, I th I think I I think I did see that. Super cool. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping by too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, I did see that. I'm going to look it up now. I think um, he made some changes too, which is always good. Yeah, that's the one. I always like when people try different things. I feel like um, I think I'm a pretty good player, but there's always room to, you know, create something even better. So... I feel like maybe I should have tried to hit this, but I think they're going to do something here. I'm smelling something. Oh, wow. Nothing. All right. Let's plus here. And then now I need to make a tough choice about my fury. I think I'm going to hold it. And I think I'm just going to rough the graveyard up here. They could still have like days or something crazy.
There's like no way they loam. Okay. So. Huh. I wonder what they're thinking about. Okay. That's what they're thinking about. They deal three to my thing. Okay. That's not that scary. What did they pitch? Lightning bolt? Strange. Played three games for Commander Controls. Yeah, three, Force of Vigor 3 might actually be really good. Ooh, okay. So a little bit of regret about not playing the Fury because I think my opponent is... If... You know, six cards in her hand or five or something crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be six. So um I am the beatdown. I'm going to be targeting my graveyard here. That's going to be eight. They have a bolt or something. Okay. This is five or three damage counters on it. Bow masters, not. Bad. It kind of feels like anything I play will make them draw cards. So, I think we only respond when they do something. Like, if they fetch or something I may just slam the bowmaster you have six on the clock too if I can if I can win this game I think I outright win I feel like I'm like second guessing a lot of my choices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am gonna hit their yard a little bit here because Bowmasters or Murtide is still possible. And I think I want to play around like two days or something. I don't even know at this point.
Doing like a merc side. So let's respond here. They probably have a force of will for that. Yep. So that's going to put more stuff in the graveyard here. I got a four. They put the force of will on top. And I think I just say no to that. That would make their thing larger, but there's nothing I can do about that. Because it's going to make it larger regardless. So theirs is going to be a nine now. I can make mine a nine as well. Five cards. A second Merc Tide? A Fury. Okay. That's the way it, it goes. I have a lot of good top decks. Pyroblast is probably one of the best ones. Okay. So I have a nine now. Even like an exalted here is like, okay. I don't hate that, actually. So... We want to keep one green open. I think that's the best I could do. Damn it. Um, yes.
Right. They gotta kill me in two and a half minutes. Yeah, I, I do. It's just, uh, I, I, I think the way that I win this game most likely is they take too long. Yeah. Bowmasters would be good. No, oh, that's uh, not what I was looking for. I got one ooze, they have one merc tide. Yeah. Good draw. I feel like they probably would win this if the clock was not an issue though. Like they've been thinking long and hard. That's what she said. So in order to get to this place, they had to think hard. A fury. Okay. Um, that is bad for business. Yeah. I'm going to do one cheaty face thing here. Um, I'm going to waste them. It's not even necessary. It just It's going to take too long for them to win. Hey, I think that was a good player, too. I just think like that's a person who understands Magic the Gathering well, but played a little slow on MTGO. I have been there. Jesus, only been two games? Holy shit. Oh my gosh, two matches. Urgh. That was a lot of brain. Yeah. We have all been there. I haven't heard this song in a long time. Or when I added it to the playlist, I heard it. But before that, I hadn't heard it in a long time. My friend uh, really liked uh, CKY, and this whole album would get played. Whenever I hear this album, I can like, I can smell a pack of uh, marble menthols. <laughs> Just driving. Gonna play billiards or something, whatever stupid shit you do when you're, you know, 17 or something.
That I never got into, though. Yeah. No, I was never a cigarette smoker. I will say, when I smell it, it does... I don't have the same aversion to it. It reminds me of being young. Like, I don't... I know why people get grossed out, and I understand it. But for me, it's kind of like, uh... Oh, yeah. That's right. All right, Delver. Um... Guess we just take two damage and go. Uh, what's what's uh, what's going on in there, Delver? Little Delver player here. The best case is they daze it. If they force a will it, that shit. I hope. I I might even take a fucking daze. You know, I hate that card. All right, they had it. Yeah. I'm not even joking. I think I take the days. The Delver's tempting though, right? Because that that card hits you and makes you go cry hurt. But this this card, I I gotta get to this card. I'm taking the days. I hate it for a reason. Now I wish they dazed for sure, you know? One less land in play. All right, they draw days. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> uh, now I wish I didn't take that, huh? Punt. Uh, I'm going to daze it, probably. No. I guess they just are going to draw something good. They're draw a bolt. All right. All right, opponent. I guess I should have taken the fucking Delver. Because now I have to draw, like, Moloch or something. Yeah. Reveals Bolt. Yeah, we are dead. As days reveals Bolt. So, yeah, I guess I should have taken the Delver. I think I was going to lose either way. Alright. Uh... We bring in these, maybe the Void Walkers. I'm not sure. Take out the Thoughtseize. Take out the Agents. Take out this. Take out Oof. I guess we bring in one. Yeah, that seems fine. There might be like an argument for more void walkers, but I'm not sure how I would make that happen. I don't think taking out mana dorks is right. I think fable's too good. It would probably have to be fable. Like if I really wanted to fit it, it's probably fable. But it just doesn't feel right. I think this means I probably should have ran one edict. Ugh. All right, we can keep this. I think we're going to need the lands. We 
You know what? That's actually pretty good. That on top. Um. Yeah. Maybe so. I think I like endurance better though. Yo, Dave. Good to see you. Um. All right. Let's. Let's take wooded, play wooded, go bolt target face. Okay. So now we probably get the second surveil land here. Yeah, we would. There's almost no circumstance where we wouldn't. They wasted me. I think I keep it on top. I don't know. Um, waste now or whatever bolt now. Um, and then next turn's tough because do I just play in the days? Now, now I don't have an option. So, um, I guess it's um two mana verse. That's really the big thing. They hit a land. All right. All right. This is ridiculous. It's the only thing I have. Guess I don't play in the days here. I hate days. Yeah. I guess I'll do a deck fin here though, cause fuck it. Get a bad land, I suppose. Come on. Uh, red, this, this. Spell pierce would be rough. Seek the beast. Don't want to brainstorm. They have force of will and cage here. So uh, that's pretty big tilt. Um, I may fetch an arbor here to block it. I might do that. It feels desperate. Cage. Oh, wait. I got to respond. If I want an arbor. I'm doing it. Got to do it now. Oh boy. Okay. Um, Babel? Jeez. A uh, Grist does not get around this, unfortunately. D 
Yeah. Pretty brutal. Oh boy. All right, that hurt. I think game one, I had some agency with the thought sees, but I think I still probably lose. Game two, maybe pitching the Fury was a bad idea. There also was a time where I took a land into my hand instead of surveilling it. Also played around days instead of like seek the beast into force of will. Those are like the only lines that I think were like um involved some consideration. Two surveils. Playing around days. Maybe my fetch choices? Oh no fucking way. A uh, friend of mine. I'm probably toast in this matchup, though. Oh, cool. Yo. Ari says hi. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Keep, I think. He says, what's up? Um, all right. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. Uh, we'll take the, uh, wooded foothill, I think. They're all the same here. Um, A little bit of inexperience here. I think this is still the best line, though. So Enchantress is typically what he's on. Maybe always what he's on these days. Um, a long time ago, he played different decks. But yeah, this is going to be Enchantress. So, let's kick it off with this. Take the Enchantress. Put that into the grave. Guess I ramp here. This that ramping allows me next turn to go for like fable and thought seeds. Yeah. You think so? I don't think it would have made a difference in this hand, but I, I hear you. All right. Because he did have two, but maybe that's more technically correct, the best kind of correct. Um... So, Zenith. How good is Zenith? I think it's really just Bowmasters. Uh, 
Outland is okay, yeah. It's a good one. Now I wish I kept the green sun zenith, huh? Black creatures can't attack them. I would get my Bowmasters back. I think that's how it works. Maybe not, though. Maybe it just fucks my day up forever. I guess I'll learn. That song, then this song. Did this thing get trample? Trample and haste, that's brutal. No, no, uh, no P fire here. All right, we're dead. I thought there was an extra trigger for some reason. Well, there is, but it doesn't matter. Uh... 
This is going to be bad. It's like not too many ways to deal with this. Force of Vigor, yeah. Elephant Grass getting around that is kind of annoying. It's like really just the two Force of Vigor, huh? Maybe the Pyroblast for that one stupid card? That might be better than like other things. We get rid of this and this and this. Yeah. I can see elephant grass being like kind of kind of big. Yeah, back to no P fire with the Jund. Um, not sure if it's better or not, but I do like playing it. I think I'll take those out. We'll keep the ooze or something, but I know they run elephant grass, but I th I just think the void walker maybe they won't have it. Get three damage in twice might be better than bolt. Having Deed or something is, like, about as good as it's going to get. So, we take Enchantress. Elephant Grass has a cumulative upkeep. Also has on thin ice for that. Bone master, yep. Um Yeah. Since there's no uh enchantress yet, do this. Could play on thin ice here. I think that's fine. Um, go. This is silly. So I could turn this into a fetch land if they play the elephant grass. A line binding, huh? Take that. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, that did three. That one guitar felt good in his hands. Pretty sure I'm going to get hit with thin thing on thin ice. Yeah, Badland. I guess we just make a 4-4. Four, four. Second elephant grass? Okay. Well, now we're in some trouble. I could just attack for four. Or is something? Has to pay for two elephant grass here. Yeah. This thing just added 10 mana to his mana pool, though. That's pretty good. 10 mana is often pretty good. In my opinion. So Void Walker might become a uh a fetch land, I'm not really sure. It has some options. I could turn it into a stupid omen of the sea. Yeah, it's a good one. Who's...
I don't know what I'm doing. Like, maybe I just take the windswept teeth here. Do I even have another taiga? I have a basic mountain. I could take the triome. I'm just wondering if I'm just getting the windswept teeth here. Okay. Then I can once upon a time and maybe find something if I need it. Has ley line binding. It's that. I guess I should have played this. That's some expensive upkeep. Refloating, okay. It's not a good draw. I think I have one more surveil land. Yes. Don't want that. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six.
exit the number of enchantments you control. Okay, so yeah, that that would kill my scavenger goose. All right. I think I think we're dead. It has trample too. Not hitting wasteland was a bummer too. Like, I think he drew bad. I think I drew well at the start. Definitely wish I would have kept Bolden over the Void Walker in this situation, though. I don't think I have bolts either, and my maw lock is gone. So. Force of Vigor. All right. That's a good one. It's got to be the crest, huh? The buys him a turn. Keeps it. Holy shit. Okay. Another one, probably? Yeah. Okay, I think I got it.
Can I cast creatures on their turn? I don't think I can. This is cast. Okay. I think it does too. Yeah. Close game. Could have attacked for one. The elephant grass, though, right? Hmm. <laughs> I think I want Bolt. <laughs> I think that card's really good. Maybe no Pyroblast. Then again, that card's so crazy. Yeah. Bolt, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure about... It's, um, this card's not great. It's, like, okay. The Pyroblast is really for those, like, that, those blue cards. In a time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Maybe you're right. Maybe just try to kill him dead. Yeah. I think this is a mall. This is a keep. If I had like a plague engineer or something, that'd be so good. That's to add two, right? I think it's got to be second land here. As good as Bowmaster can be. Take the Enchantress.
You can get a surveil land here. And we go for the um, red black surveil. Outland Liberator's pretty good. Let's get the fable going here. I am curving out very nicely. Probably discard Bolt and Moloch here, if given the chance. Okay. Takes that. Okay, so I'm not going to be given that chance. I think we just play another fable here. I'm not sure about uh, that card. I know the internet's hot on it, and I think... I think it has potential, but like... I'm trying to think of the right way to put it. When you... Man, just a moment. Too much brain. Uh, so we say yes. I think these two get this... Guarded. We're going to have a lot of mana this turn. Um, Knight of the Relic, or White of the Reliquary, that card I, I think is, um... Creatures cost mana, lands do not. So sometimes I wonder like how that card's gonna actually be like pushed, you know? And um I still think it might be very good. Um So the wishful thinking here, Hogak 2, I think would be cool. The wishful thinking here is I get to copy my uh, Outland Liberator. Is that too cute? Maybe. They're going to draw a card, like, every turn, though. I'm going to let them draw a card.
Okay. I think the treasures are worth more than the opposition agent in that moment. Um, you may discard up to two cards. Okay. Yes. It's probably too late for this card, and it might be too late for Opposition Agent. I think Thoughtseize is still worth it. See what's going on over there. All right. Some white creature I've never seen before. Oh boy. Flying lifelink. Uh, power toughness equal to the number of permanents you control that are spirits. It seems good. I can grist that card. Um, I'll take. Take this. That's true. This is bad. I think I should have taken this card. Yeah. We are getting pretty punished. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Pretty much. Kind of panicking now. Uh, no, nah, you're... You are correct. Panicking because of the time, too.
Good top decks are like bolts. Um, I have one, two, three creatures in the graveyard. They have two creatures in the graveyard. Right. Holy shit. Um Maybe Buster. Yeah. Um, yep, I overdid it. I got to just not run out of time. <laughs> Clenching. Mama. <laughs> got to get this listening to fucking Phil Collins. This has been a long league. I can fill collards. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Will's a super cool dude. Really good player, too. So. Doesn't pay for elephant grass. I think might have a second one. But I probably lost 
the track of what's actually happening in this game. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. That is not the draw that I wanted. Holy shit. Like I gotta sack the grist. I'm glad I didn't time him out. Oh, man. I would have felt bad if I timed him out. I probably could have scumbag tied him, timed him out, too. Wow. Oh, Alexis is going to kill me. It's like almost 10 o'clock, and that's not even the last game. Oh, no. I'm feeling some buzzing. And she said to me pictures of tired fat cats. Yeah, the matches tonight are crazy. Oh man. Hopefully we could just get one more. Like I, I don't even know. Go against uh Eureka, who's streaming right now and just die. Beans, beans. Quick you are Delver. And then Enchantress. Super close games. Definitely made a few mistakes that game. I bet he did as well. Just the way it goes. Hopefully we just get this last game. Get a W here, get a nice 401. Another cool Jund YouTube video if I get the 401. I feel like I should upload more of my 3-2s, but like, Four one feels right to upload. Three two is like, you know, never feels quite as good. But I do upload some three twos. Gonna be in New York for about a month, um, Manhattan, and um, I think I might be able to stream a little bit when I'm there. But uh, the '90s MTG crew is there. That's that channel, and I'm hoping to connect with a lot of those. Oh, is that where you're at? A month? Yeah, that's a lot of time. I think we're between two spots. One in, like, the financial district. Um, oh, cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you go to, uh, the stores down there? Greenland, Connecticut. Okay. Yeah. Greenlands of Connecticut. Of Greenland. There's a, there's a green something. A Greenwich, Connecticut. Sorry. Uh, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. New, um... I'm staying there for a month. Uh... Alexis is getting a pretty major surgery. Um... So... Gonna... Hopefully I have uh, good luck there. That's the big thing. But her mouth is going to be wired shut. It's going to suck pretty bad for her. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. Definitely, it'll be cool to be close to the doctor. We kind of did the math and, like, getting a hotel for about a week in Manhattan is going to cost, like, nearly $500 a night for some place that's not, like, terrible. Um, You know, something with, like, at least a king bed or something that's decent for her. Um, yeah. So, the cost of an Airbnb is, like, kind of close. We're still going to pay a lot more, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, um, that seems to be, that, that, that's how it's going to be. Thank you, lead singer of band. Thank you. That's how it's going to be. Hopefully I still know everybody and know her. Their songs are really sad. I never thought their songs were that sad until I listened to the lyrics. I think Bro's on Stifle Knot, which is really rough because I don't have Plow. And then we're going to listen to Sad Lyrics, Happy Beat, Morrissey. I sure hope they don't stifle and then not. <laughs> okay, up the beanstalk. All right, cool. Not really. It's going to be a million years before this game is over. You say yes. Um. Yeah. Hotel points, yeah. I do have, um, we're going to do the Airbnb, so we'll get some points, we'll accumulate points, but, uh, when it's like a month, that's when it's like, you probably get an Airbnb, air -ba -ba. I think that's what it's called, shut up, Mark, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. My opponent's like, does my opponent have Bowmasters? They are the magical fruit. I sure hope my archer card. So I know it, they know it. And I think I am going to use the treasure here so I can use this for a scry. Yeah, that'd be so cool. I'm going to try to use this for the scry. So this is this is quite the wham bam here. They might have to hit the uh the stupid uh thing. You know, the uh stupid uh thing. Yeah, they might have to hit the stupid uh thing. They don't hit the stupid thing. Okay. I thought they were going to hit the stupid thing. Uh, put that into the yard. Bolt. That actually is pretty close to lethal.
I think that was the move. Yeah. What is love? I mean, what, what, what card that costs one tropical island gets them out of this? I don't know. The one tropical island, like the out. I sure hope they don't have. Alright. Oh. Oh, yeah, when I said what is, I zigged and you thought I was going to zag. Yeah. Yo, Diego. <laughs> what is love? Maybe like a William Shatner version of this. What is love? Lady, do not hurt me. Do not hurt me. No more. Um. All right. If I were a big stupid doo doo head, what would I put in and take out? Maybe the other mana dork. No. Okay. Word out mana dorks against terminus. That's what I do. What? Is the card with Tropical Island that they would get? This song actually is a banger, though. Like, I know it was like a meme before memes were memes. Before memeing was a thing. But, like, when you actually listen to it, this is on my, like, playlist for, uh, I have a specific playlist for Jump Rope as well. And sometimes this comes on, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, get the club popping. I wonder if you played this in a club these days, if, if the youngins would get it. I know, like, millennial generation would. Some music does that. I always thought it was Baby Don't Hurt Me. But it's a lady, don't hurt me. Yeah. No, that's true. I, li I like a lot of uh, Gen Z, too. You know? I think it's, like, pretty common to be the older generation and be like, you know, ah, those kids. But, like... So far, most of the youngins I've met, like met personally, I've heard of some cringe uh, uh, Gen Zers. Yo, I won the game and I'm on the play. What the fuck is going on? They said no. <laughs> Did I lose? That's so funny. They're like, no, no, I want the extra card. I might mull. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking first. All right. They want the extra card. They don't want to veil my... Yeah, exactly. Yo, I didn't even consider that. I didn't even want to speak that evil into existence.
My hand is not lining up very well here. Thinking about taking the arrow? Like, if I thought to use, like, what the fuck? Well. Alright. That, that makes things more clear. We get the badge land. And we go black, black. Hey, you tell them. Oh, Chili's saying what we're all thinking. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so stupid. Must have hit the wrong button or something. Yeah. Ugh. Tough crowd. Ooh. Losing his mabbles. I'm up to my eyeballs in removal. Alright. I think... It is too tempting to not do thing. Oh, I tapped wrong. Bro. All right. Now I have no idea what the fuck's in their hand. It's not Uro. Holy shit. Uh. That is true. I don't think I wasteland. I think I need the mana. I should play like a Narset here or something. Um, that just happened. Do this. I could just knock them off white land. Which, well, they have this in hand. So, I didn't see that coming. I'm going to hit that. I don't know. Damn. These top decks... And... Ugh. I might start keeping lands in hand at a certain point. Pretty good.
getting the Void Walker back is definitely something. That may have been the thing. I, yeah, it, it's so tempting. Maybe I was like laser focused at that time on the era with the Dothy Voidwalker. Yo, Charlotte, um, so what you do, um, all right, I'm going to show this because I care. Uh, you go, you see this, this is like a MTG record. You double click it and yours is going to say, uh, that this is a, um, browser source, I think, right? With the globe, you double click it. Mine says Strass Daddy. You're going to put your MTGO name in there. And it only works when you're in a league. So if it looks like it's not working, you may not actually be in the league. I'm going to keep the lands in hand at this point. In the event that I draw a... Uh, hey, no problem. Hope it, hope it works out for you. Is this too aggressive? I don't think so. If they follow up with the Merc Tide, I will be pissed. But... Whatever. I think it was fine. Yeah, pretty brutal. Definitely Fable is probably my best draw here. Well, that one I will play because there are Surveil Lands in the deck. And only Uro has the counter. And I feel like if I cast Uro, they would, like, get it or something. They fetch, that's pretty scary. Yeah. That's the last place I wanted, am I right? Am I right, ladies? Sorry. Shut up. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we go Dryad Arbor here, or... The problem is they have a Wasteland. Alright, let's go Dryad Arbor. It's a damage. It could come up. Um, oh, we win. Right? Wait, I don't have Nobles in the deck. I boarded them out. All right. I'm pretty sure I did. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, glad I checked. I think this is going to be good enough, though. Fourth would be pretty tough. That's like the one thing I think I lose, too. Press down, yep. Got there. Yeah, you can't check the board. All right, that worked. Four, one, pretty awesome. Um, cool. Uh, went well. My loss was to Delver. I think I want to add an Edict to my deck somewhere. That or Fourth Fury. So, I'm not sure. Dalty was pretty good, though. Overall, liked it a lot. Um, not sure if I want the this card or the Taiga. I'd have to think deeper about it. Um, yeah, this worked. This went well. I got a really cool raid. So XJ Cloud is online, and I like XJ Cloud a lot. But I got a lesser known streamer that I want to raid. Um, um, it is a very good MTGO player, though. Uh, E U R E K A two two four two two underscore MTG. All right, great seeing everybody. Uh, Diego, Chiliest, uh, hope to catch you in New York. Um, if you're in the 90s, uh, MTG Discord, I'll try to find you. Uh, you know, it'd be cool to meet up with you. Um, uh, yeah, Riza, Diego, uh, Charlotte Legacy League, hopefully you figure that out. Uh, message me if you don't. I, I'm happy to help. I've been there. Twin. Uh, yeah, really good turnout today. Busy chat. That's what I like to see. Magork. Good song requests. Cool. Rating uh, Eureka. Uh, very, very good legacy player. Cool dude. Probably is listening to some pretty cool music, too. I'll see ya.